how are you? Welcome to CEO, where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans and correct misrepresentations of Africa and Africans. I have this moment where I say, COVID made me do it. You know, with the devastation that COVID-19, this coronavirus pandemic is unleashing around the world, it's hard sometimes to say, these are the gifts I've received from the COVID lockdown. But to maintain mental health, I started doing it about three months ago. And I start, I've been ripping off the, off the benefit of it. That is, at three months ago, in June, I told myself, I'm going to start linking onto, connecting to the positive things that are happening in this lockdown. Because like many around the world, it left me concerned. I was scared. I didn't know. The unknown has been a big fear with COVID. We have made sure my family, we adhere to all the rules. We get the right information. We make sure we're getting... COVID information from the authorized sources. We wear a mask all the time. We practice social distancing. And in all that, of course, it's the mental health issue, being locked down, not knowing. So I started focusing on, three months ago, I made this decision deliberately in June, to start focusing on the positive. In that, I said I wanted to take actions to start creating the kind of world I wanted to live in and the kind of world I wanted to live for my son. And one of those is kindness. I think kindness is huge and important, but it's underrated. In the COVID, while telecommuting, I've had to stay in buildings. I've stayed in three because I had to use Airbnb for the first of, I still use it. <laughs> That's why I've been doing it for about four months, five months, because I'm telecommuting out of my duty station. I work with the United Nations. And I told myself I wanted to start with kindness. By that, I wanted to start and engage with everybody I meet with kindness. And I remember the first building I came into, there's this cleaner, I don't think he spoke English. And I would come in and say, good morning or good afternoon, whatever. He would ignore me. He didn't know, he was surprised. And the first time I said it to the concierge, good morning, he stopped and looked, yes. I said, oh, nothing, just saying that. I did it like four times. Then now, months later, he says, hey, he starts with a good morning first. It's become a pattern. Now the cleaner, is the first to smile. I don't think he speaks English. So he smiles at me, this big smile on his face in appreciation. We don't talk, we just smile. And that I've seen working. That is something I took action around COVID and I've seen the, the fruit of. Then something else that I've started doing is actually realizing that this is it. And this has become it home to me. This is the life. This is it. We, we must find happiness, not because of, but in spite of. And that is what I've started feeling this in the last two years as I move, you know, as I embrace my middle age womanness. I love that space. But I've realized that it's actually true. I've started learning, getting better at finding happiness in spite of, not because of in spite of many things that are happening outside my control. I am finding it, I'm being able to find sources of happiness, of joy around me. And they are not what the world would consider big. They are usually in appreciation of memories that pop in. That is, positive things are coming into my life. And they are usually, they could be positive memories, experiences. I've learned something in COVID that I'm getting more excited about. Taking a decision to be active in creating a positive world for my, me and my family, taking action, being responsible for that, has meant reaching out and being the first to initiate that, and I'm getting it back. Deciding that I choose happiness, and I have that in my living room, just a minute I'll show you. Yes, I have this boldly in my living room. It says here, Sorry, you might see it the wrong way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm new at this at the YouTube thing. But it says actually, choose happy. Choose happy. That's what it says. I'm sorry, you're not saying it the right way. The way it's placed, but it's choose happy. I put money, you know, flowers, symbols that encourage me, reminds that that encourage me, that remind me that I am responsible. I must take the first step in creating the kind of world I want to live in. You know, 
We must make real in our own lives the changes we want to see in the world. I started embracing that, and that is something I started doing with COVID. Because really, who knew we would have this, this would be our world? But I'm deciding to wear a sequin pajamas, not no hat stone, but in the afternoon. Because this is the world we live in. I'm choosing happiness. I'm bringing out those plates, those special. The, my special location now has become every day. I don't save anything for a special location anymore. It's every day because the rules have changed in the world we live in. So my gift is two things I want to leave you with here. That I've chosen to live in a world that is kind, that is gentle in communication in the way we interact with each other. And I've decided to be the first to initiate that in interacting with people like me. I interact with people everywhere I go from kindness, kind words, gentle words, and words of appreciation. Number two, I've come to realize that I must, we all have to be happy, not because of what happens, but in spite of what happens. Yes, because of things that happen, that can, that's easy. To things happen, you're happy, but to be happy in spite. It doesn't mean you don't feel the, the challenges life throws at you. It doesn't mean you don't run into difficult times, but it's the realization that we're not really in control, that this is it, this is the life. And, 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 and choosing to be happy in spite of the things that happen is a very liberating, free and positive place to be in, in spite of what happens, but choosing. And those are the two things COVID has given to me, the space to, make, to, to, to learn certain things, to learn to be in a new way and have the time to be it. Yes, they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but you can, <laughs> especially when you're locked down and you're reflecting on life. Stay safe, choose happy. In spite of what happens, choose happy. And to make real the changes you want to see in this world, start with yourself, with the person you run into the street. Kindness is powerful. Thank you, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.